Reese. Today we're gonna to be an engineer. What, a car mechanic? That typical stereotype. I bet you we find out it's more than that. All right, let's go find out. You have to be good at drawing in order to become an engineer. You don't have to be good at drawing. Uh, we'll teach you how to draw. Um, in fact, we want all the artistic and creative people to come and do engineering. Because engineering is, ab is about uh, having different ideas. And um, sometimes the more creative ideas come from those who are very artistic. So what personal skills and qualifications do you need to become an engineer? It is very important that uh, students have a, a good, a strong background in mathematics, physics and another science or maybe design and technology or something like that. So in the UK you couldn't get into the profession maybe for an apprenticeship? You, you would need to um, brush up a little bit in your <laughs> maths and your physics but of course uh, you, can, you can try that, that route as well. Engineering is a very male dominated career. How do you manage to find your niche as a woman? If you think about engineering, engineering is about solving problems, really. There are problems everywhere in the world. You think about war, uh, global warming, you think about poverty, um, the economy. Well, I think about disability. Uh, that's my, my main interest. And to find my niche, basically I just follow my passion. And my passion is about helping people. It makes me happy. Yeah. I make people's lives better and my students get good jobs. <laughs> what would your message be to young girls wanting to become engineers? If you want to make a difference, if you want to pay, uh, change uh, lives, <laughs> uh, if you want to work in industry, uh, engineering is a very formidable career path. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, absolutely um, mortified that here in the UK we only have 7% of practitioner, mm -hmm. practitioner engineers uh, are female. Uh, engineers and that is terrible mm. uh, so we need more female engineers we need more engineers yes. uh, the, the problems of the world are far too many and we need people to to help us uh, solve those problems so what type of work do you do day to day I do my teaching I do a little bit of research as well uh, my second job is as a director of women in engineering um, I'm very keen um, we are very keen to raise awareness about engineering to to girls and my final job is as director of enterprise education of the university so that effectively they develop skills so that they can find jobs uh, or, or if they wish to start their own companies so are your lessons practical my lessons are very um, hopefully proactive and interactive and i want them to feel what it feels to, to have a disability so that they can empathize yeah, relate with, to relate yeah. to the customer. And so I get some of the students to blindfold themselves, mm -hmm. to put earplugs in their, in their ears, uh, and to wear these big gloves. And I then teach them for 10 minutes uh, about marketing, but I teach them in Spanish. <laughs> and the reflections are absolutely incredible. They feel frustrated, scared, uh, helpless. They don't know what to do. Um, you, you see the students trying to help each other when they are doing the little test. And um, when they meet the following week, the, the children or the families or, or, the, or the people with certain disabilities, um, you find that they are very um, careful in how they phrase their questions. They, are, they empathize and sympathize. And they make the most of that opportunity with a customer. It is practical, but in, in a different way, yeah. I think. You said that you work with very vulnerable people. What inspired you to do this? Years and years ago, when I, when I was a sort of younger girl, I had a friend at university whose brother uh, had had a car accident and he was unable to move uh, since that accident. He had been in, in a wheelchair for many, many, many years. To me, it was a, a surprise to see how many things he actually did. 
-hmm. and was able to do, even though he, he only could move the left arm and just like that and couldn't move anything else. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that to me was very uh, Im impressive was that they, their, his family developed a device, mm -hmm. they, they pretty much made it at home, it was a homemade device where he could um, insert uh, the paintbrush or uh, his toothbrush or his comb mm -hmm. and, and this was something that was sort of engineered at home. Um, so when I see solutions like this, when I see the passion to help people, when I see that people are getting better um, quality of life because of these solutions, I, I feel reinvigorated, uh, inspired once again. And my memories of, of my, my first um, interaction with a person with disabilities um, seems like the best thing that ever happened to me. Thanks for that, Elena. You've really opened my eyes about engineering. Yeah, I agree, Reese. It's amazing how engineers like Elena can change people's lives. Thank you, Elena. My pleasure.